Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Gemcraft Frostborn Wrath. In this episode, we are going to L5, the one that was locked until we had the barrage skill from M3? Anyways, all colors are available here. 50 waves, 234 HP on the first wave. That's 234, it's not easy. Skills, 15 on Mana Stream. 15 on Fusion, 25 on True Colors, 20 on Resonance, 20 on Mana Leech, 10 on Freeze, 5 on Whiteout, and then 5 on Bolt, 5 on Barrage, and 20 on Beam since we have Orange. So obviously these two because of Orange. This one 15 also because of Orange. The sooner we can upgrade it, the better it is. So no need to go for just static numbers like this, but instead Go for dynamic numbers, which combines two colors, mana leech, beam, and fusion to give us earlier upgrades. Of course, mana pool milestones are important too, but here we'll need the help of this because we're assigning some interesting points here, such as the 10 on freeze and the 5 on barrage. Usually I'll skip these, but we'll need all of these. At least 5, if not more. I debated with myself whether to skip Whiteout, but Whiteout also complements the orange gem by giving bonus on the Mana Leech for Whited Out monsters. Let's see what this map is about. Something interesting. Firstly, let's address the stashes. 2 on Iron Stash, 7 on Brass Stash, and 7 on Bronze Stash. And we have this Wizard Tower. Destroy all 12 wizard locks on the field to unlock the wizard tower, or it will smash our orb when the final wave starts. This is one hit KO as soon as the final wave or wave 50 launches. So we'll need to destroy these locks and they are color coded. This is the free spell. We'll need to hit it with 5 free spells. This one too. And this one. Meanwhile, if you see here, this is a bolt one. So the white ones are freeze, red ones are bolts. And they're not simple, we need 30 bolts here. We need 20 here. This one, 40 bolts. Beam, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and even 30. And we have barrage, 40 barrage, 50 barrage, and even 60. Although barrage skills do have a lot of projectiles in one shot but we still need to be wary because we only have 50 waves. Here we might have hoped for more waves, but we're only given 50. We have got some of these monster nests. They're destructible, but we don't really have to care about them for now. We start with a wall here so that they all go through here and then come in through this way. So we wall these as well. And our tower will be situated around here. Level 4, and then this one to help out. Give us the beam soon, please. They are going to go through. Yep, see that? We can upgrade already, so let's start with that. And then bolt. Uh-oh, Oh, okay, that was close. 4,300. We can make them go in through this way, like that. So they need to go in through here. We can set it up first. So that they will go in through this side and then up. And then we can zigzag them around here. But meanwhile, we need to get more mana. Okay, now we've got all of these charged. So we're going to try to hit both of the freeze locks by casting the freeze around here. Do we get it? Four and five. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think this was six, right? So four, five, and six, if I'm not mistaken. So we did get it. If not, it's okay. Let's try again around here. Three, four. Yep, we did get them. Now we'll need to have these towers here and here. They'll all be orange. And then target structure, which will mean that they hit the locks. 
And then one takes a bolt. I mean, actually, level two might be better. Yeah. And then one takes the barrage. Because, like, level one, too slow. Level two, better. Uh, give you the beam first. Don't be too careless with the beams. I know we need mana, but we also need to hit these locks. Wait, are you hitting? Yeah, you are. Okay, good. Bolt again. Which one are you hitting? 32 now. Okay, barrage. Beam. Did anyone go in? Okay, no. I thought I heard something. Okay, that's fine then. So, wall this here, and then wall this way. So they go here, and then out to here. Now we got some beams ready, and we can't really use them, so let's put it here, and this requires beam, this requires beam, so maybe we'll leave them for the monsters first. <laughs> yep, beams are ready now. Alright, use the beam here, and then I think you can beam. Yep, we'll have to waste some of these beams though. Barrage for this one, sure. And then we have freeze, so freeze this, and then we can white out some of these for mana, and you can just hit for mana. I'll give you a bolt first. Wait, are you? Okay, you are. Do you need bolt? I think you need bolt. Oh, there's a wraith there. It's fine, we should be able to take it out. There. Beam. And then you taking this. Hang on, you're still having one shot of barrage. There we go, one more. How many more? 16, 22, you take it. Do you still need... Okay, you still got the barrage, that's fine. Alright, they're mostly ready. Like... Our gem here is doing nothing, so we could always give you the barrage and uh, just hit this one, I guess. Not really hitting anything, huh? Interesting. Well, whatever. Uh, we have got beam, so how about I give you the beam here, finish up everything. There, that's one down. And I'll give you the beam for mana. That's another one down. Bolt for you, barrage for you. Alright, we can shift over to here, I guess. All of these go down here. Yeah, shift over to here. So we can like block this one, so they all detour. And then we move it to here. Just white out everything for mana, of course. And then we can even upgrade this one now. And just freeze everything while it just restarts. Yep, <laughs> it restocks there. Not restart, restock. How many beams do we still need? Oh, beam 30 seconds, huh? Okay, that's not easy. Bolt for you. Are you done? Okay, you are done. Now you beam. Yeah, that should be easier. Uh-huh. Freeze. Sure. Don't forget the freeze, though. We tend to forget the freeze quite a bit. Another freeze. There, that's one down, this one one more, and this one four. So remember to save enough freeze. Okay, barrage for you. And I think beam for you. Okay, bolt for you first. We did not even take these stashes. Are you done? I'll give you the beam, just handle that. Okay, it's all done. Zero seconds. <laughs> sure, no problem. Need your help with the barrage here. How many? 38. Barrage for you. And freeze. Get rid of that once and for all. Bolt for you. Sometimes these things are a little bit annoying because like, we'll have to handle those. You know what? I think I'll try to... Do we need the bolt here? I think we need the bolt. So how about we just spend a bit of mana? 
we'll have another tower here just in case and then we'll have this one go to level 4 and then spend a bit of mana beaming this down yep take out the armor and that's it and we don't really have to worry too much anymore this one it can do whatever it needs it can help me with this it doesn't really matter target structure can take nest can take stash leave it to do its work this one barrage this one also barrage and then there's like bolt but we're fine we should be safe now yep that's down already look at that okay you still have barrage so i'm gonna keep it here are you done okay we can combine you and you and then freeze and freeze two more freezes required Beam can be fully utilized on the monsters now. Oh, we can upgrade this and bolt. We'll still need some bolts though. This one and then beam. Yeah. Are you done yet? Barrage. Almost. Let's close. White out. Come on, give me the beam. Yeah. Okay, bolt. And freeze. Alright. Bolt. Oh no, we need the bolt for this. Never mind, it's okay. We are still fine. Still have a lot of waves remaining. It's almost down. Go to here. Do you get to hit that one? No. Never mind. If you take down these nests though. Actually, we can detour them by building this way. Yeah. And then just take down these nests. No, you can't. Never mind. Sure. You can go here and help me with the armor. Beam. And then you bolt. Apparition 1960. No, 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 don't you dare. Wow, okay, that was close. Target structure, please. 12 bolts. Can you... Oh, you're almost done. <laughs> there, it's down. This is almost down too. Bolt one more time. There... It's all unlocked, so it will not attack our orb anymore. Ages old memories. <laughs> yep, we safeguarded this entrance here. Let's just bring it here and then bring it here. What? You can't even... Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> That's how powerful these gems are now. See? Can't even beam them. Look. Alright, go here, beam. Quiet out. Got so much beam not being utilized. Yeah, it's all unlocked and we can just like take this one out with the purple even. <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 they went there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Stash is all down. That's it. All we need to do is just cleaning up the rest of the monsters. Stats, mana leeching 417,000, waves called early 4,000, no leaks, two apparitions I think, and one wraith here. Oh okay, special highlight, we cast a lot of spells here because it's really necessary to take out those locks, so we had to micromanage a bit to ensure that the locks were taken out in good time. Map tile H and field token H1. We also have a story element. An 
abandoned wizard tower with locks. Its occupant must have fled in a hurry. Luckily, these improvised locks were easy to get rid of with my gem enhancements. Inside, I found some plans describing the inner workings of the Gem of Eternity. I've seen this fascinating gem of wizardry in my frozen dreams, the only known artifact that can ensnare the forgotten. These plans write about improving the gem further. This wizard had probably been working on some actual working way to defeat the forgotten. I take these plans and examine them later. There is no time now. This gem of eternity seems to be referring to the previous iterations of gem craft. Chasing shadows maybe? Or maybe even earlier. Regardless, this was a friendly structure that was programmed to destroy our orb unless we can dismantle the locks. The wizard who left this tower was probably a friendly wizard trying to destroy the forgotten. But in order to protect the wizard tower, implemented these locks. That's assuming this story element is actually referring to the protagonists, i.e. the player, in the previous iterations of Gemcraft. Skills? 15 mana stream, 15 fusion, 25 true colors, 20 resonance, 20 mana leech, 10 on freeze. Luckily we had 10 on freeze. I keep forgetting to freeze those locks. 5 on whiteout, 5 on bolt, 5 on barrage, and of course 20 on the beam. During my research playthrough, I failed multiple times because I kept thinking that I needed to use chroma gems to get rid of those monsters because of the higher damage. Applying the specials, or the special characteristics of these pure gems, would have provided even greater benefits. Anyway, L5 fully completed. And because there is no more other fields, map tile L is now 100% completed. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.